AOC posted a video on Instagram on the 10th, basically talking about how other countries, especially in Europe, are leaps and bounds ahead of the United States when it comes to sunscreen. What are we here to talk about today? We are here to talk about sunscreen, specifically U.S. sunscreen and how to fix it. I don't really have a problem with her video. And it's a low effort Instagram video. Why get upset over it? Hello everyone, this is Rep AOC and I'm here with Charlotte Palermino. I'm a brand owner, but also a licensed esthetician. U.S. sunscreen regulations are not necessarily making us more safe or better products. U.S. sunscreens are far behind the rest of the world. I was in South Korea earlier this year and it is so clear how far advanced the rest of the world is on sunscreen and we deserve better here in the u.s i mean as far as i'm concerned avoiding skin cancer is a pretty serious issue and the fact that regulations really would be easy to change makes it a potential winning scenario but when she's done with this i think she's she should tackle uh an even more important issue of sun hats for dogs <laughs> so most you know most countries have everything set up better than us not better rail systems, better mm -hmm. medical system, but nobody's really touched on the most important issue of sunscreen. Yes, I get the points that Jimmy Dore, do dissidents, and many others have been making. They have a problem with AOC in general, how she hasn't been promoting progressive issues, and that we've fallen behind in a whole number of areas as compared to the rest of the Western world. But suddenly now she's coming out in support of the companies that make sunscreen. And she's actually saying something against regulations, saying we need to loosen the regulations. I mean, sure, if she was working hard to promote for our infrastructure, you know, for light rail, for a number of things, eh, she would seem like a better politician. But I can't blame her for pushing for something that should have an easy answer. I think this next little clip is the part that people take issue with the most. How does the FDA regulate? The FDA is different than the rest of the world in that we regulate sunscreen as a drug instead of a cosmetic. It's regulated as a drug, has far more stringent standards, far more testing, far more scientific and clinical trials that are required, which is good. We want to make sure that yep. things are safe. However, sometimes that can add a lot of bureaucratic and costs that prevent us from getting any sunscreen mm -hmm. filters at all. And just for context, it has been since 1999. It was the last time that we had a new sunscreen filter in the United States. When we compare the U.S. standards to European standards in 2017, a Sloan Kettering study found that only half of U.S. sunscreens met European protections. Yep, that seems to be the part, because she's promoting for us loosening regulations. Apparently, she's supposed to only promote for more regulations, not fewer. But as I said, skin cancer is a serious issue as far as I'm concerned. I don't actually see it as a small thing. Sure, again, it's low effort, but who cares? It has certainly gotten the subject talked about, and we'll probably see something change. I mean, if I hate anything about AOC's new video, it's those ugly aviator glasses. It always creates an optical illusion that makes someone's face look like it's shaped differently than it is. But what they're saying is absolutely correct. Our FDA is terrible at their jobs. We have a lot of problems in this country. I don't think it hurts to tackle things that you might consider small. You know, everything adds up, you know?